this is Shannon Gomez, and I am at the driver recruiter for JK. How are you? All right, what's going on? Uh, you're the driver recruiter for who now? JK Moving Services. You had called or you had sent in a uh, inquiry um, to our company. Oh, um, or or oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, ho- hold on for a second. Okay, okay, here we go, here we go. JK Moving. So yes, you you guys are a moving company, or was what's what's the best yes, story sir. on this? Um, so we are the largest independently run and owned um, moving company um, in the nation. We um, we pack, load, and deliver and move people all over the United States. Mm-hmm. Um, and we are hiring company and. Um, we are hiring company drivers, Class A and Class C. Um, do you have a CDL? Uh, yes, I do. Yes, I do. Um, okay. All right, so you. How many years experience do you have? I got a. Uh, I got six. I'm um, six year driver six? out here. Yeah. So. Okay, and what do you haul? Uh, right now we hauling just standard, you know, your standard haul, whatever we got. I I run drive in and reefer from the company where I work at. This is like uh, a moving service. Does this requires me to to drive and touch the freight as well? Yes, sir. Okay, okay, okay. So, all right. So, what do you guys got to offer? Because you know the from what what you got saying on your fate or on your Instagram that a company driver can make up to a uh, hundred k a year how how is that uh how is that possible uh on a on the uh on the um on a w two or would that be ten ninety nine no it's 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 um it's w two and it's um so um First off, you would have to come in and get some training, okay? Because mm-hmm. you you've never moved furniture and stuff before. And our all of our drivers are actually hands on. They help pack, load, um, and you know they're physically doing inventory, the packing, the loading. Um, you're making sure that everything that goes on your truck or off your truck is inventoried the correct way with um, any kind of imperfections that may have been on the furniture. You're wrapping them in mover pads, um, packing things correctly in boxes, labeling them as so, um, and then you are driving them. We expect you to go by the DOT uh, regulations as far as your hours and ser- hours of service are, and um, so it's possible by that. Um, what we do is 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 a very it's, it's a very labor intense job. So that's how we can guarantee the hundred thousand dollars a year because we know that you guys are out there working hard. And I'm actually a former driver. I was a driver of the year for JK, very first female driver in 2019. However, I had a medical issue come up, and I need to be home close to the doctors right now. So that's why I'm working remotely, hiring drivers. Okay, so. So this hundred k. So how how is that round up? Is that is that round up with the miles? Is this salary? Is this uh? How, um, basically how is this round up. So basically, you're bringing home around well, gross pay is about eighteen hundred dollars a week. You know, there's fifty two months in a year, right? So you're like before taxes and and social security and all that stuff comes out. It's around eighteen hundred dollars a week. Um. We start you out at 20% of the line haul for company drivers and $24 an hour for packing, unpacking, and shuttling, meaning that if you have to use a smaller truck because it won't get into the residence or wherever you're taking the furniture and household goods from or to, um, you have to load them on like a small U-Haul truck or a Penske truck or whatever. So you get paid um, by the hour for that, packing and unpacking. Um, if, if the line haul doesn't, meet up to where it's going to be the hundred thousand dollars they automatically make your check where it will be equal to to where it'll end up at the end of the year being the hundred thousand dollars so you can make more than a hundred thousand now being that this is moving does this require uh teaming or is this solo and do i get like somebody that's going to come with me or how this how this work as far as moving goes 
Um, so, no, we don't do teams, and it's only solo drives. You can have an approved authorized rider go with you that that must know the job, must be physically active and working on the job, the same as you, has to pass the um, background check and stuff. Um, the dispatcher will set up your labor wherever you're going to and stuff like that. Um, but there would be um, a training program that you would have to go through um, you got the driving experience. You still have to do a driver test or whatever, but you'd have to pass the the actual moving and packing training course in order to continue on to be a move manager driver. Okay, okay. So now these now the the moving trailers are are different trailers than what what some might be accustomed to, right? Um, yeah, they're regular. Um, they're regular household good trailers. They're like the. Um, they're fifty three footers, um, and JK's equipment is very very nice. Um, they have a deck, and then, then they have the rest of the floor. So you can put about five to seven thousand pounds of furniture on the deck, and then you fill the rest of your trailer. A lot of times, you'll have multiple shipments on there. Exactly. Exactly. And, and this is yeah, like and. Th- and this is like going into like some residential areas, I, I would assume. Yes. Oh, okay. Okay. Yes, you will be in. Yeah, yeah. You will definitely be in residential areas, um, in apartments and storage buildings. Um, mm. Yeah, you, you're basically you're you're moving everyone. Like you're moving people's complete house. This, you know, everything inside the contents of their house. Um, from one location to the next. And the driver is responsible for all claims that come in, and um, they pay for their own ca- claims. So if you, like, damage something and it comes a claim and they find you to be um, be um, liable for that claim, they take it out of your paycheck. Mm. That's something that we got to look out for. <laughs> yes, sir. Well, nobody wants to get claims, but you know, as long as you do your well, your job well, and you're protecting the furniture. I mean, things happen. You know, I mean, in a perfect world, things wouldn't happen, right? But things happen. Um, but when it gets to be like, you know, it's an all time thing, or you're not doing proper inventories and stuff like that, it can really downfall on the driver because it can cost you instead of you making money. Okay. But there is awesome opportunity to make good money with JK. We are we move like presidents of the United States. We move higher up government officials. We move uh, Fortune 500 companies. We we move uh, regular customers, um, NFL stars, and and you know well, being celebrities. You, sometimes we move everything. Being that you guys, uh, you know, move you know move people of 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 that status. Uh, the, the the vetting part, uh, the vetting process for the driver gets to be extinct, right? I mean, extensive, right? Um, no. Um, we actually have a lot of successful drivers um, on on JK's team or whatever, and um, and actually in the industry, there's there's a, I mean, I can't even say there's probably thirty or forty different moving companies out there or whatever, but we run solely on our own. We don't we don't. Um, run with other van lines like United or North America or um, Allied or right. any of that. We all, we are an independently run company. Okay. So how, uh, so how much experience are you guys looking for? Um, well, at this point you'd have to come in and um, there'll be no set time frame of, of the training. It's just based on how you do and, and how quickly you learn it. Um, some people train at different paces. Some people take longer. Some people it doesn't take as long. So there's really no set time on it. But in order for you to do that, you would have to be local to um, Sterling, Virginia for the amount of time that you need to be there to train. Okay, okay, okay. But I, I guess I, I guess my question is how much uh, driving experience do you guys require, or if that's or if that's the um, same? A year, well, a year, um, and it's like I said, it's, it's different from hauling cattle or, or foods or you know freight or whatever because um, we have different guidelines that we have to follow by for household goods and stuff like that, and. Um, there's no, I mean, we like to see 12 months of experience driving. Okay. You go in there and, and they put you behind the wheel and, and the trainer says, hey, you know what, I say he's good to go or whatever. 
that's fine, but you also have to get the good to go from the training manager for the in-house training that we provide, like for the packing. You'll have train days for the packing. You'll have training days for iPad for doing correct electronic inventories. You'll have training days for how to properly pad furniture, how to prep the houses, how to do everything that is entailed in that driver's job. Are are we paid for this training? Yes. Oh. You paid hours for the training. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, so where is the company located? How would I get out there? And is it up to me to take care of my own uh, housing or hotel or, or what? Okay, so um, if, if you were to put in an application and they were decide to move forward with it and everything was clear and ready to go or whatever, and they had a... a a planned uh, training program in place for you. We would fly you out there, okay. um, and we have like what they call is like a it's a bunker, but it's it's like a small apartment that's built into our warehouse uh, where drivers come and stay. We would suggest stay there for uh, the few nights of your first week of training or whatever. And then at this point, we're still trying to put into place like the guys that really need more training, um, putting them up in a hotel room or, okay. or whatever. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. So, I mean, we would, you would, you would be responsible for your cost of living other than your living arrangements. We wouldn't put you in a house or nothing like that, but we would, um, you know, accommodate maybe putting you in a room close by. Um, this program is very new. They have not had that in play yet and we should have it finalized by the end of next week. Um, but I, that's sort of how it's going to work. Um, I don't know the definites on that yet. Cause like I said, um, it's been something that we've been talking about, but hadn't acted on, but now it's going into action. So, okay. That's what's up. That's what's up. All right. So we already, we, we already talked about the pay and everything. Uh, what about the benefits? What's, what's the benefits you guys offer? Um, so the benefits are, we have great medical, dental and vision. Um, the company pays for our company drivers. They pay 80% of your monthly premium on your medical. Um, I choose to go with the high deductible payment, um, pay- the plan that's high deductible, which is three thousand dollars out of pocket that I pay, um, you know, before that my insurance kicks in. But then my insurance kicks in, and they pay one hundred percent of all my medical bills and things like that. Um, and out of network is like four thousand okay. um, dollars. But for the cost of that, it's like seven hundred and some dollars a month, right? But the company pays eighty percent of that, so I'm in in turn I'm only paying twenty eight dollars and some change every week. So less than a hundred dollars or right at a hundred dollars a month is what I'm paying for this medical insurance um, okay. for the premium. So the company covers eighty okay. percent. Um, the dental is is I mean is very affordable. Um, they have different packages on that too, and I do have some copies of that if you'd like me to forward some of these benefits over to you, so you'll see what it costs and what it covers and all that. Okay. What about uh, now? Now is this? You say that we, you know, we we do everything and we, you know, we pack up and drive everywhere. It, is there like a set dispatcher that I will have, or or like it's like is this like once a week and then I come home at the end of the week, or do I stay out? How how's how how's the uh, dispatches work? Okay, so um, every driver is um, is um, assigned one dispatcher. One dispatcher handles all of your information, tells you where you're going and what you're picking up, and and they receive all of your um, your settlements at the end of the week. You get paid every week, um, and we don't have a set time frame for when you get home. However, when you like. You stay out for weeks at a time because um, you're, like, from one location to the next, most of the time coast to coast. We do have some regional spots where you just go certain places. Um, but if you need to be home for a certain thing or whatever, you just let your dispatcher know. And there's also a place in your green employee portal where you can request time off. Um, I've never had an issue getting home when I needed to be home. Mm-hmm. However, I would stay out for eight, 10, 12, 16 weeks. It just depends, you know, until I got ready to come home and say, Hey, uh, I'm homesick. I want to go home for a weekend or whatever. But we don't have like a set time, like say work three weeks at home a week. We don't, we don't really have that. Okay. You know what I mean? Cause 
moving company is different from like running freight and stuff. That's why that one's not like, you know, you work so many weeks and then you're home a couple of weeks. Gotcha. What about the equipment that you guys offer and what's the truck speed? Um, we have awesome state of the art um, vehicles. Um, most of our company drivers are driving anywhere from a 17 to a 2022 model Volvo. Um, we have a state of the art top of the line equipment that we provide for you that you will take um, inventory of when you accept the truck and the vehicle and um, anything was to happen um, and, and you were to leave, um, as long as what you signed off on that you had on that truck it with, with the warehouse people or whatever, that's what you'll be responsible for being on that truck when you return it. Oh, okay, okay. What's the, what's the governing speed? Um, some trucks have a governor and some do not. However, we do have inward and outward facing cameras. They are not in there to spy on you. They are in there to make sure that uh, in the event of an accident um, or in the incident that you are speeding or you're braking too hard or you're following too closely or whatever, it triggers it to come on and do a small recording. And then safety will reach out to you and say, hey, you know, um, I got this video today. You know, you were speeding. You were going 78 and a 65. You know, hey, what's the deal? You need to slow down. Um, or I had to use it one time. I got a hit and run in Connecticut. Um, this guy wasn't paying attention to the road. It was a five lane road. Two lanes was exited off to another highway. That was them were getting stopped up. The truck that was beside me on my right decided for whatever reason, I don't even know. I heard brake squeal and I seen him turn into them cars to the right. That spun him back around and put him dead center in the middle of my lane. I was about to hit him head on. However, I took evasive action and I slammed on the brakes. I mashed the button to record and I looked to the left to make sure nothing was on my left side and swerved. He went from the front of my truck all the way down to the other side uh, got back to where he was facing forward and he just took off well I got all that on recorded and we ended up getting his tag number and all of that and I had proof that I wasn't at fault so as you know that if you're in an accident with a big truck who do you think is going to get the blame for it the big truck right (laughs) these cameras help these cameras help the driver um, in cases like that. Plus, it keeps our insurance rates low, and it keeps you guys from speeding. <laughs> All right, that's what's up. That's what's up. What about uh, what being that we run everywhere? What about uh, extra pay for running up in the Northeast? No, there, no, there's no extra pay for running nowhere. I mean, the loads pay what they pay. Um, it will be transparent when you get your workload. It'll tell you what that line haul is. You, you do your math and you figure out your 20% of it. And then if you had pack hours or whatever, then that's how you figure out what you're supposed to get paid for a job. All right. All right. What about a sign on bonus? Um, no, currently we don't offer a sign on bonus because we have the guaranteed minimum salary of a hundred thousand dollars, which is really good. All right. All right. Well, that's about all the questions that I have, but uh, thank you for, uh, for reaching out. And uh, going over yes, and going over it with me, man. Um, I will definitely, uh, definitely, you know, keep this in the back of my mind. But I would also take this to my uh, social media outlets and let them know that I have talked to you, and I'll share the okay. I'll share this information out, and hopefully, uh, hopefully, you guys will get some play from it. Oh, well, I really do appreciate that. And this is my number. You're welcome to store it and keep it. And if anytime you feel like you want to apply, you let me know, and I'll send you a link to apply, and I'll be happy to assist. All right. If you if you don't mind, can you can you send me the link anyway so I can uh, so I can share it? Sure, absolutely. Awesome, awesome. Um, would it be easy to email it to me or to test it to me? Yeah, um, yeah. I can. Yeah, give me your email because it works better like that because. That was what I was going to tell you next. Oh, okay. The application, it will let you do an application by the phone. However, it won't let you complete an application. So it's best to do the application from a laptop, computer, or an iPad um, so that you'll be able to complete the process. Now, with everybody that is applying for a driver's position, you have to include the last 10 years, previous years of your work employment history. Even if you was months or a year or whatever that you didn't work, don't just put unemployment none in the comments. You put in the comments down there, you know, why were you out of work? Like, well, you know, I had to be home with my wife because she was sick or I was in between jobs or, you know, give some kind of a, a comment, a, a reasons because 
Um, if you just put none on there, it just looks like you got a gap in your employment, and it slows down the process, and it, it's pretty much a, it, it stops the process because you've got to have that 10-year of work history. What a- and for younger guys, for younger guys that are applying and they don't have 10 years of work experience, it's okay to include their school and stuff. Okay. What about guys that has felons? Um. I'm not going to say that we don't have felons um, because, you know, people make mistakes all the time, but it needs to be at least seven years old. Oh, okay. That's what's up. All right. Well, you can send it to me at uh, Lockout Men. That's L-O-C-K-O-U-T-M-E-N at gmail.com. All right. And I'm going to send that to you, and I'm also going to send you over a driver pay video, okay? All right. That'll work. That'll work. I'll share that as well. All right, I really appreciate it, and thank you, and have a wonderful day. No doubt. Thank you. Appreciate it. You take it easy. J.K. J.K., they paid a driver's company driver's W-2, 100K a year. But you're going to have to put in some work, some big time work, because you're going to be moving furniture. You're going to be responsible. It's going to be a lot of responsibilities to earn This 100K. And you know something? I'm beginning to realize to earn up to that 100K status, it's going to be a little bit more responsibilities than just sitting behind the the wheel and driving all day. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You know, to get get that 100K, especially from JK, especially from them, you're going to have to work for it. What do you guys think of this call, man? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, let me know if uh, if this uh, company that you guys might be interested in, if you're interested in moving, uh, you know, home moving. You know, she said they move presidents, celebrities, and all that good stuff. So if this is something that you guys might be interested in, let me know in the comments below. If this is something you guys are interested in and if it helps, why don't you go ahead and leave a like, you know, leave a like for me on this video. Let me know. Um, that's going to do it. If you like content like this and more on the Lockout Men podcast, the coolest podcast on the tube, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that bell notification so you can get jewels daily. That's what I do. That's what I do. I'm like Beethoven with the bass on it. Me, class kids, it went pop. Def to the hater won't stop. Let's start key scales, it won't drop. You don't even need a scale to know I'm on top. Me and Mozart, bars, you got bops. Heard you the Tiffany, a whole symphony. You a symptom, me, but go off. Or make a masterpiece for you, or at least it's gonna hit like rump, bump, bump. Y'all fit to me like the symphony. Your career's done, done, done.